Hey, Jimmy Beach here with Alien Skin Software. In this video, we'll make some furry text with iCandy 7. I have a file open in Photoshop with a text layer. Let's get started. Before we make the fur effect, let's talk about fonts. In my experience, fat fonts work better for this type of effect. Here's a quick tip for when you're searching through fonts in Photoshop. I'll press T for the type tool. On the options bar at the top, click to the right of the font name, like you're going to type in the box. Then press the up or down arrows to quickly cycle through the fonts. I like Myriad Pro Bold. It's an Adobe font that comes with Photoshop. Now I'm going to convert my text layer into a smart object. This will allow for me to make adjustments to the effect later. With it selected in the Layers panel, run iCandy 7. I want the animal fur effect. Let's look through some of the factory presets on the left. Now we can make adjustments to this look. I'll start making tweaks on the Pattern tab. The most important parameter on this tab is Pattern Spacing. I'll turn it down a bit to tighten up the pattern. The Draws Outside selection toggle is something to note. If you shut it off, the edges of your text appear sharp, like you used a clipping mask in Photoshop. I'll leave it on. Let's move over to the Hairs tab. I'm going to bump up the hair length a bit. I'll adjust the stiffness slider too. Stiffness changes the hairstyle from droopy to pompadour to punk rock. Hair length and stiffness work together. These are the main parameters to fiddle with on this tab. Lastly, I'll turn the edge cover slider all the way up. This controls the amount of straggly hairs that stick out from the edge of your selection. In most of the factory presets, this setting is already high, but for this look, I want it to be as fuzzy as possible. I'm happy with this look, so I'll press OK. That's it for the furry text video. This is Jimmy Beach. Thanks for watching.